Hello guys and girls. I know I look a bit dishevelled. I've just been trimming the front garden, the lawn. Um, when I say the front garden, it's not actually my front garden, it's the council part. They didn't, they only did half a job. But at least they didn't cut my flowers down this time. Anyway, let's move on. I'm going to do a bit of a different video today. I'm going to discuss a few cleaning things. So I was... I have been comparing quite a few things. For example, I've used the power paste. And for those of you that don't know, in the power paste in here, you get one of these scrubbies, which I've already used up. And it looks like this. However, it is relatively expensive. As you see, I haven't used a lot of it. It smells very, very nice. And the Scrub Mommy is, comes in here. There we go. That's what it's called, the Scrub Mommy. Um, in white, I think. It came, I think it was white. I can't remember. It's a while ago since I used it. And I compared it to the pink stuff. This is a full tub. I've been through a whole one of these already. So what's my verdict on that? Which is better? Okay, let's see. I think if you have really, really tough stains, like I have a Belfast sink and tea gets poured down it and coffee bits and so on and so forth and there are a few scratches in there so once a week's gone by or two weeks sometimes and the stains won't come out the scratches then I use this okay works very well but I use it sparingly because it is rather expensive the pink stuff, however, also wonderful taste. <laughs> taste? No, I haven't eaten it. Smell. Smells fantastic. I use this almost daily on all sorts of things. Pots, pans, you know, I hate with a gas oven you always get the outsides burnt and sometimes the insides as well. You burn sometimes food down the bottom when you're not paying attention. Um, also works in the Belfast sink, but it needs, if you're looking at those same stains, then you have to let it sit for maybe a couple to three hours, then it will work as well. I think this is far better value. If you want to have a natural cleaning agent that also deblocks the drains a little bit, takes the smell out of the drains a bit, um, this works, but I prefer this because it's just that less, that's, well, inexpensive, I would say. Right, however, my absolute favourite is, and this should be no surprise to you because many say it, bicarbonate of soda. I get it in one kilo, five kilo, sometimes ten kilo packs. I use this for all sorts of things. Yes, I scrub down the sink, I scrub down my pots. You can use it on anything. Even my wooden work surfaces, you just have to wipe a little bit more after because it does tend to stick a little bit in the grain. But no problem because it's natural and so on. Love these. Love this. And I'll come back to this in a minute. Let me just put that to the side and hopefully not drop it down on the floor. So let's get to these scrub mommies. Okay, on this side, they're soft and you see, oh, this is still wet. Better not squeeze it too much. On this side, it's uh, foam, um, spongy. And on this side, it's rough and scrubby. Right. Um... What shall I, how shall I put this? I like using them. However, the one downside I have 
is this side wears off a lot quicker than this side so it tends to be sort of shriveled up like this on one side and that side's good and this side's crumbling not keen on that however for the very tough stuff where i don't want to be using a what do you call it those um those old-fashioned aluminium wool ones yeah then i'd use this and where the little green scrubby ones you know that you get on the cheaper foam um, normal dishwashing pads that sometimes doesn't kick it either so if need if that doesn't do it this definitely will and this is a good in between for things that you don't want to scratch or you're not really sure how how delicate the stuff is you need to scrub and you don't want to use the wire wool there we go it's like a wire wool then use this so for that it is absolutely fantastic and what I do is I go onto Amazon and then I get you know, sometimes deals so I bought three so this is my third one I've actually used because one came with the scrub mommy they as I said apart from this bit when this goes what I tend to do is I just take it off and I use this part maybe for cleaning bathrooms and things like that until that's done and then I chuck it out so so much the scrub mummy yes they're relatively expensive but I think it is actually worth it for what they do do you know why it has this smile because you can stick spoons in it and then you squeeze it like that and you just pull the spoon out with of course the dishwashing liquid in here makes things a lot easier and here for um, handles for knives and so on so that's the scrub mommy actually it does get a thumbs up it gets a thumbs up from me I do use it daily and especially when I'm cleaning out the oven or the microwave then this, come, this comes in super handy because you can do both. You scrub it first and then you wipe it. Very absorbent. I actually like this a lot. But not so happy with how this disintegrates faster, as I said. The next item I really love are these fi um, microfiber cloths. I bought these in a lump of, oh, I don't know, 10 or 20 I can't remember super super things and these are actually Robert Scott's I bought these on Amazon as well they were under eight pound for that amount I remember the price I think it was 10 not 20 um, work fantastically I've had this one for quite a while and it's in use every day for drying stuff, for wiping windows, for wiping everything really. Love it. So microfiber cloth gets thumbs up from me in daily use wherever you're using it. I've not had any streaks on the windows with it or the mirrors. Um, I often just only put water on it and then wipe the windows. Works fantastically. Right, let's get to another item that I use daily. This is a new one. And this is what's called a Swedish dishcloth. On the one side it's rilled. On the other side, often it has diamonds or here I've got dots and, well, the crinkles. Super absorbent, fantastic for dishwashing, fantastic for mopping up stuff. Um, what you need to do though is before if for example you want to mop up a spill and the spill is a wet spill then you need to just moisten this a little bit then it will absorb a lot quicker love these as well also bought on amazon and i took took the cheapest ones there were 
However, there is one that is um, a little bit better than these, but is also about two pound dearer for 10, where you get the diamonds at the back. I find those soak up a little bit better, but not enough necessarily to, um, mm, I don't know, to for the two pound, well, most probably, yes. Um, so, but these work fantastically. There you go. I'm just listing what's happening. It's most probably the dog. Then, another thing I have been trying out, and this must be now the fourth or fifth month in, are the small dishwasher tabs. Also, fantastic. They do what they say on the box. As you see, recyclable packaging. Love that. Let me just get one out for you so you can see. That's what it looks like. And it's all natural stuff. Yes, in fairness, I could make them myself. I know the recipe for dishwasher tabs. You don't need extra salt and you don't need an extra high shine whatever. Even in my dishwasher, which is now 12 years old and not working that well, these work still fantastically. So I would recommend these. I really would. After um, I was skeptical at the beginning, but I must say it leaves the glasses, the plates, everything in fantastic high shine and dry. Great. Um, so let's get on to one more item, item per se, and that is this microfiber cloth. It's still a little bit wet because I had it in the, the washing machine yesterday. And this is an extendable with an extendable wand because I have skylights way up there and I need this to get up there to get the cobwebs out super easy works fantastically as you see it's very very fine there are different ones on the market this one you can bend um, and you just chuck it in the washing machine at 20 or 30 degrees and take it out don't put it in the dryer this is you unscrew it here so you take the handle off then you just chuck this bit into the washing machine and as the English say Bob's your uncle yeah pull it out let it dry and it's ready for use again now let's talk the last subject which is a subject that I've come across and had many thoughts about two subjects really and that is making your own um, laundry powder or your own laundry soap for the washing machine right most people use and i have done and i still do every now and then use a soap of some kind um, like a zoat or a palm olive or whatever you have and then you add various other ingredients like bicarb like um, borax like um, what else essential oils for this the smell you add oxy oxy clean and various other things together to make your own washing powder however um, I love that and I do use that every now and then I make my own exactly like that and I have a recipe if you're interested comment below by the way and I will send you the recipe um, well I'll post it <clears throat> um, however there is one downside your washing machine and your clothes if you use it constantly will have a film and they might gunk okay so if you use it constantly there's two ways you either use it as a powder and some make it as a liquid soap i've done both i don't see any advantage in the liquid soap 
um, you just need more storage space and it's a constant nightmare because it can catch mold as well so I rather do the powder form when I'm making it and it works fantastically I have come across though something that is called stripping your laundry now if you've noticed your towels and your sheets and your microfiber cloths and whatnot aren't really absorbing the water properly anymore then most people advise you to strip your laundry stripping laundry is when you fill up your bath with hot water put those items that don't absorb properly anymore into that bath you add um, a cup of your favorite uh, washing powder into that bath you add um, bicarbonate of soda a cup of bicarbonate soda and a cup of borax and a cup of super strength almond hammer bicarb or soda crystals if you're using soda crystals I think you need two cups um, anyway and then you put everything into the bathtub and you leave it there I don't know for at minimum of four hours well come on number one not every household has got a bath right not everyone wants to use that much hot water in when it's starting to be expensive these days to heat your water up with gas and so on so I don't think that's viable whatsoever. So I've come across something else where you use your washing machine and I did it just yesterday and the results are fantastic. What you do is you put all that washing, don't overpack the washing machine, just put a little less in than you would normally do so that it's got extra space to tumble around or if you've got a, a a top loader so that it's got enough space in there to to work so what what i use is well to make um yeah i use one cup of bicarb put that into the washing machine straight into the into the drum don't put it in the top I use two cups of soda crystals this is super cheap this is rather hard <laughs> but anyway it's a powder and I use if you if you've got white wash like uh, sheets and things like that if it's white white and you want it super white then you put a cup of borax in there or a borax alternative um, sometimes uh, sometimes it says on the box borax alternative that works equally as well as real borax um, which is antifungal antibacterial and it's for sensitive skin and so there's no problems even uh, okay let's say if you're doing baby washing for babies then I'd maybe just put half a cup in reduce the amount but normally it's hypoallergenic so it shouldn't be a problem and then I put into the um, softener compartment I put just simple plain vinegar this is the diluted one this is let me see 4.5 percent I think it's 4.5 percent um, <clears throat> so and then you wash it on 40 degrees you don't need to go super high unless you maybe got really badly stained stuff and you want to cook it and it's cotton then I'd go 60 but 40 30 to 40 is sufficient just one cycle of that my cycle goes 45 minutes and it comes out perfect I had um what you call them um servia um serviettes but the cloth ones oh my goodness they were they were almost 
dark brown in colour because they hadn't been been washed properly. Well, washed, yes, but you know what I mean? It just, just adds up over the time and I hadn't done them with, pre-washed them with bicarb or anything like that beforehand. I just chucked them in when I was busy and they've come out okay they're not perfectly white they have a light tinge of gray but all the other stains you know like from curries and tomato sauce and all of that that had been washed in has come out so that's what i do you don't need to strip your laundry what a waste of water and time and effort you don't need to do that and by the way if if you have a problem with the washing machine that you think it's been had a build up what i advise is to put into every washing cycle one tablespoon of bicarb and one tablespoon of soda crystals with your washing powder or washing liquid whatever you use just put it into the drum and it'll be fine and you won't have to worry number one it softens the water number two it will activate um, the washing powder in there and make everything a lot cleaner and it will decalcify and just leave the whole washing machine a lot better and cleaner my washing machine is now 13 years old and i've not had a single problem with it none whatsoever um, and actually i also use whilst i'm just thinking about it sometimes because my dishwasher that one does give me problems every now and then um, i use just a cup of bicarb i sprinkle that at the bottom with about half a cup of vinegar and then have a cycle and then there you go clean again and it'll just run normal but that's more because of the age of my dishwasher and also because of um, my drainage pipes aren't perfectly laid so i have sometimes a bit of a problem there there you go so that's my video on that subject if you find it interesting give me a thumbs up and if you want any more information comment below Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Be kind.